by the drone. So Xset know what they're up against. They're already getting a rotation. Now it's about whether that they can hold. Ooh, that dart was so good. Will with the flash trying to go around. He's going to drop a second one as well, but they're still going to get challenged. BCJ just flying around the corner, able to get one. We did does as well as both players, both teams, excuse me, drop players left and right, oh. dropping down to a 2v2 as chaos just continues standing. to ensue. Fo with the jumping classic burst, able to drop things down to a 1v1. Pifo never made his way onto the site. He's going to be there to pick up that spike, but hasn't committed yet. Yeah, he's got possession of this spike here. It's going to be tough now for Fo to get in here and see what he can do. He doesn't know where he is, and oh, there no. it is from the shadow. Aggressively. Yep. They're going to drone through and actually set up their race and maybe flank, but it's going to be a quick B attack, and so they need to move fast over there. Love pure using the cloud burst there to stay alive, and what was a very dicey situation, those flashes came in, they pushed him off the site, and he had to back up. Meanwhile, the spike goes down. We saw this play a couple of times. Uh, yesterday, and it's it set up very similarly. You get on site, throw the spike down, get out as quickly as you can, and then there's the utility thrown across. On top of things like that, the Hunter's Fury out of critical is able to take care of one. He's just trying enough time to get another one as well. We did drops this three on the round for critical. Pure goes in, he is able to get somebody up close and personal. Doesn't get the kill, but his team Fury was always going to be a problem. They can never really break past that. And now we have a quick exchange at long A to kick off this round. Kills traded between these two squads. And with that comes a little bit of information, a little bit of space. BBG is able to work. Oh my gosh, he's in flash and he was able to get that. Yeah, he was able to turn away a lot of it, but still an impressive shot nonetheless. Mm, Recon will go out now to start getting some information on the site. They will start to see that it's actually empty. The spike is pivoting here with Bjor into middle. He's got a teammate right ahead of him taking into B control. Oh, the turrets caught Thwifo trying to make a move up C garage. That does wonders for BBG to know that their backside is taken care of. And now they can just start reinforcing into B and get this plant. This is going to be a tough retake for Xset, especially considering that BCJ has low health. Oh, but I love how aggressively they're playing this, understanding where the majority of the pressure should be coming from. They get on the site, and then they push into A-Link. Yes. Now there's just one player left. It's the Cypher. And given where those shots came from in Garage just a few moments ago, they should have a pretty good bead on him as well. But we'll see mm. if he's able to pull off this 1v3. This is tough. Yeah, I don't like his chances on this one. But we'll have to see if he can craft something together. I think he does have one cage to block off the main doorway if he can get into sight. Does get one kill there. Certainly a good start. There's that cage. That's big. But, yeah, it's huge, but BBG still hasn't committed to a site. Now the drone comes in as well to clear out. They also have Awen set up up close on long A. This is just a great defensive setup. It's going to be so hard to break. One comes in from BBG, but they're still well behind in this round. Or is holding that tight angle if they push through the wall. But so far, they haven't committed to the foe. Realizes where he is. He's Try to blast him through. There it is. The shot's going to be Big. delivered. Pure is taken out. Bjorn gets one as well. That should give BBG a good bit of room to work with. The uh, lockdown is going to be used as well to give them some more space. X said it has to respect that, and it looks like they're just going to wait it out. Spike planted. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I mean, if they can try to get a body in here, they might be able to get the Cypher alt off to give them a bit more information. Weedic can also reposition to get them more than one route on the retake, but it's been caught. But at least he got a little bit of intel out of that, but it's still going to be a really tough ass retake here. Smoke with paranoia. Fofo is able to get one. Your trades it out. However, there's that neural theft that you were talking about. We did has plenty of info. He's in a one v two. However, and this is a tough spot to be in. Yeah, Fo mm. is able to rounds even. Just a, a testament to how close this has been. Ooh. I expected to see BBG try to do a little something up mid here, and it seems like Xset did as well. You're holding that angle down with the op. He's able to get an opening pick, but it looks like BBG wants to go in anyway. Yeah, they know that he's probably falling back and taking the shot, and they would be correct, and they catch him as well inside the smoke. A BCJ comes in, a huge disruption. Knows he has another one ahead of him as well. Gets that headshot also. This is great work from BCJ. Oh my gosh, they absolutely devastated BBG, and, and honestly, Dust in a, in a 4v1 situation here. We'll see if Critical's able to do anything. He's already gotten two. He's certainly made this much closer, but the problem is he still doesn't have the spike. He's not on site. They know exactly where he is. They've smoked out the spike itself. This is just a really tough spot for him. He's down to 60 health left, and they aren't yeah. swinging together. I love how patiently Exit's playing. <laughs> yeah, BCJ says, have fun droning, bro. I'm just going to shock dart you a couple of times and chip away at your health even more to make it even easier for us once you do decide to commit. As he is coming in with very low health, and we see Thwifo there having no... Their way over back towards A, just like you said, Bjorg can prove to be... 
the difference maker, especially if he, he catches has to do one something. on the lurk. Yeah, but they're just gonna ring around the uh, ring around the Rosie here. I'd, oh yeah, they're gonna That's catch it. each other. Pure R gets the best of them. Wifo gets one as well. Rob Wiz, however, once again trying to keep things interesting, but EBG just down to Will. He's gonna get paranoia. He's gonna get. Yeah, we'll see if they're able to get anything going with those. Wow. Oh, again. Yikes. That hurts. Yep. <laughs> Some omen on omen violence. You hate to see it as an omen main, but you know, it's got to be done sometimes. We'll see what they can get going here as the spike is actually dropped all the way down C long. BBG is nowhere near it as they're trying to push through garage. It was a disjointed push that seems to have fallen apart. Yours, the last one standing. He doesn't have a ton of health. He has a Spectre as well. They've also just spotted where the spike is, oh, so they can boy. really just squat on it. This is this has gone. This is an absolute really nightmare. <laughs> I don't know what to tell. I mean, I feel like Bjorn's hoping he's gonna wake up sometime soon, and that this is all just an alternate reality. But unfortunately, that's not the case. This is just the world that we live in. To hit another set play right into B main, like we've seen time and time again. We've seen this go well, and we've seen this end very poorly. We'll see what they can pull off here. They're able to get out and get out into middle. The, again, the thing is they have nothing else though, but Fu is gonna change that. He's gonna go ahead and alt into C-slot to try to backstab through that link, and this is gonna make it a lot harder on Exit now to retake. Yeah, they have to keep that in mind. It keeps them guessing. He is gonna go aggressive, excuse me. Wifo is, but he's gonna go ahead and drop. Pure with the blade, able to get two, looking for more. Has spotted the last player, but the flank was there. It doesn't matter. As the defuse comes through, Fall was not able to get there in time. Down when they need to, but again, they can be very rapid, and they have Pure, who's been really big with the first bloods, oh but Fo gosh. with a couple of huge classic cracks up close there at short. And he's not and done yet. Way. Three and oh four. Gosh. How is this happening? Is he gonna ace? No, BCJ will at least stop that from happening. Fo is just out of his mind to do that with the classic, given, yeah, they were all funneling their way in, but the defense that he's able to hold up to keep X at bay was just hu huge. Be beard. <laughs> Should. Uh, but for now, Xset working their way up Garage, and it's a death ball that's made their way in. Keep a close eye on the Sova from BBG that's going to be rotating around. If that's a pinch there, that could be devastating. But at first it was Foe, and now it's Bjorn. He's gotten two, looking for the third. Drop down to eight health, and it's BCJ who's going to win that. Meanwhile, Critical, we talked about him earlier on the flank. Gets one, gets a second. The cleanup was there. BBG gets Smoke, essentially, of heaven that was blocked off early, is able to still find the kill and slow this attack down a bit. And even that, the Nano Swarm, Dwiff was like, holy crap, I just want to get in here and plant the spike, but he's just getting chipped away at, and now they come in and strike. They do indeed, but Bjorn was able to get one more. It's going to drop things down to a 42 in favor of BBG. Make that one, as we did the last one. They did a 1v3, but Bjorn just has an down, and that's going to be tough for BBG to deal with. Will flashes and swings, not going to spot anyone, but you hear the spike begins to go down, and it has been planted. Will going aggressive, he goes around, but <gasps> X is able to get two through that anyway. Oh my goodness. There's a Hunter Fury you were talking about. Will still on the flank is able to pick one off. BCJ looking for more as XH just down to two members left. Wifa was able to get one. Oh, down to a He's still anchoring down the side. He gets a second through the crack on superpowers. They're on a they're on a very light buy. You've got pistols yep. and a little bit else in there. This is just certainly not what you want to be bringing into this final round. Potential. Final round, Foe's gonna be the first one to drop things already going in favor of x as Aaron has made his way onto the site. Has the second one on the round, looking for the third, but no, it's Rob Wiz with the judge who delivers the sentencing. However, the Blade Storm has been used. Rob Wiz trying to work his way around the smokes, not gonna get a chance, it's all down to Bjorn. Trying to keep this round alive, trying to keep the map alive, and he is in. Kept alive as x -Set take map one and the last really team in their way, one map away from taking this whole thing. They're gonna go ahead and Roomba to clear uh -oh. out their way into Hookah. The paint can is there as well. They have a good idea. Yep, swings, my goodness. The burst once again, it is gonna get traded out, but that is gonna give them room to work with across Hookah. Meanwhile, they also got presence in up the long. He is theirs for the taking. Indeed, quick exchanges though, breaking out. And BBG are actually still very much in this. They do have a one low health player, but so does Xset right now. And that nade comes in at just the right spot. Wefo having a tough time getting away. Indeed, he won't be able to. It's all on BCJ now with low health. He spots one though. A great little D, but will Hands out once again. It's going to be a hit right up, just like we saw last time. Rob Wiz with the ghost. He just peeks. He's able to get one. He is going to get pushed off. However, the paranoia comes through. He manages to stay alive and his friendly fire. Holy Toledo.
That was, that was... You're starting to see them pull some of their resources out, understanding the Rob Wiz is on the flank. They have to be careful about that. There he is, pops out. And yeah, gosh, that's huge. He drops. There, there's no, like, additional pressure there. It's just going to be a fight up to be short. We did able to get one. Twyfo gets a second one. BBG has fallen. Are just down to critical. Critical with two. However, he's going to reload. Only has 50 health left. The timing was just horrible there. Thwaifo gets the last one. They do indeed have showers control under their possession. They're also, like you said, hammering away. Aaron now trying to take it to Hoopa. Great use nice. of the satchel to catch Will off guard and in awkward space. And now he'll be able to use the showstopper off that frag. Misses the kill, but now the Neural Depth comes in for information. And they're really controlling this now. Silence. I don't know how Aaron stayed alive as long as he did. He eventually does drop, but it's going to get traded out as BCJ with the Sheriff is able to keep things at bay. Xset has the numbers advantage. They so are trying to challenge him here from the portal. And a swinger. And, oh, he spots the gun. He knows exactly where Foe is. Later. The Sheriff is just devastating. We did gets it as well. A thrifty round win for Xset. Early aggressive peaks. Oh, man, that drone's going to give him away. Has to back up. The paranoia is going to come through as well. You also get the showstopper from Will, able to get two, but we did trades it out. Strong aggression coming out there from the EG. Yeah, really well done with the showstopper. Now Bjorn and company are going to build off the back of that. And they're still holding remaining. here with Foe. They're not giving up this short A position. Pure able to catch Robles on the flank, but at a huge cost. He's lost his teammate in the process. Now he's all alone, and he just cannot find another. Well, unfortunately, Hookah was given up, so that's going to give Vexet a little bit more room to work with. They have taken that area of the map. Rob Wiz is going to drop. Aaron swings out, but he's going to get taken out at the hands of Will as well. Exit down to three members left. They do have two ultimates to work they with, to. but they're trying to get something going on in this site. We did is starting to plant the spike, and he's going to get delayed. There's just too much crossfire. There's too much chaos. There is, but now it's starting to settle down a bit. They have a camp up in Elbow, so they have that angle covered for information. BCJ finds a spam on the critical as well. And now the numbers are dwindling for BBG. BCJ is just knocking them down. It's all up to foe with low health now trapped in the corner. Yes, this is, this is a, I mean, a brutal spot to be in. He's got 38 health, too. And he's he's got a Vandal. He might be able to pull something off here. And, yep, BCJ had low health. He was able to get one. Both are going to be there if they peek him at the same time. It's too <laughs> much. Dwyfo gets three on the rest. He's something spicy there, but he still has a decent idea of where they are. He's also going to get the drone to understand exactly where they are. You hear the lockdown has been used in conjunction with the Hunter's Fury. BBG is managing to keep X at it. Both are just down to two members standing. left. There's the blade storm. It was there, and it got dropped as Bjor takes him out. We did in a 1v2. This fight was planted. He's got a chance. Gets one. Not able to get the second. His foe takes him out. It seems like they're all gathering up to explode here on this B side with the recon. Keep an eye on foe over by A. Has a chance for a flank. Depending on how quickly he moves and just how much longer BBG can hold off the initial push. Bjor was able to get one critical. He's going to get tagged up. The nail storm was there, but he manages to survive remaining. just long enough to kill standing. the spike carrier. Foe is the last one standing up against we did. We did already has three on the round. He's got a Spectre to work with as well. Can't tell if he picked up a better weapon, but Foe spotted where he is. Ring around the rosy. They both have Vandals. Foe lands the shots. Foe gets the kill. BBG gets the ramp. Up a short. They've managed to get at least all the way through. Pure is going to dash his way in as We did gets the opening pick. Huge positioning there as he manages to get his way into heaven and, and really just really negate the entire push from BBG. They're just down to two members left, and one of them is certainly weak. We did again, still causing problems from up in heaven. He's going to drop at the hands of Bjor. Will with the flank of his own gets one. It's a straight up 2v2, folks. Will very weak, still able to get one three on the round for him. It's going to be the last one standing in a 1v1. Cage to the garden sticks the defuse. Wifel's going to go in aggressive, but Will's just going to stick it. No, he pulled off. He had a chance, but he pulled off. Thwaifo gets the clutch. He's in play. Mm -hmm. Could catch SS off guard. They've managed to get some control. Now they know the Stinger's in play. B long, yeah, they know. They, they shot up the trip wire, but the cage goes up. Thwaifo's going to be the first point of contact, and he's going to get taken out. It's going to be a 4v4 here. Critical is going to get pushed back because of that nade. Aaron's still kind of keeping them at bay, which is huge, but they're still going to dash in anyway. BCJ around elbow gets the best of Rob Wiz. This spike has still not Player made its way standing. down yet. It's so sweet. There's just one left. And it's Will in a 1v3. He's going to... Again. Setting yeah, off a chance for a good duel. 
Yeah, but the spike's yeah. not there. It's just a, it's a fake up a short. They're just creating noise while the spike has made all its way all the way into hookah already. Will manages to get two really big picks while the spike is all the way getting onto the site right now. There is one player from XN who's there. It's BCJ, and there it is. He handles the shenanigans himself, and dead X set the round. Yeah, I mean, I give credit to VBG for getting a couple of kills and forcing some rotations to come back over to A, but BCJ was confident to just stay where he was, be able to shut down any hopes at a plant from the VBG side and any hopes at stealing a round away early from Exit. But now here comes the full buy from BBG. Upgrades are taking place in a few players for Exit, as we did, and Pure will have rifles. Others will keep onto the Spectres to save some credits for later. No problem. Obviously, Spectres can still be very useful, even in later rounds. Very accurate. I see some aggression it's here. Oh, yeah, except going very aggressive here. And they were able to get one, but it got traded out. And as, as soon as that pick goes down, the aggression that we saw from Exit pulls right back out. They spot two with that drone as well. So they're getting some good intel on the Exit side of things. So they are kind of behind in the man count. Yeah, it's even four and four. It's usually going to favor attacking sides just based on spreading defenses thin, depending on how well you rotate. As a drone will now come up and claim Octagon control for PBG to start setting them up for an A split, or B split rather. Seems like they should be committing here soon. Uh, Xset's gonna have two players playing over by elbow. The smokes come out, the paranoia does as well. Nothing following it up. They actually don't continue onto the site throughout that utility uh, at all. And that now they're gonna start to funnel over, but you've gotta be careful if you're BBG because there is yep. gonna be a flank coming in from Xset, the Cypher. You see both Hunter Series has been used critical to one of his own, trying to get up top to stay alive, but it doesn't matter. BCJ drops, Xset get two BBG. Just down to two left. Aaron with the showstopper spinning around 30 health, but trying to bide his time. BBG turn it. And there's just one. It was Thwaifo. We talked about him on the flank. Still alive in Hookah. He's got plenty of health. And he's got a specter. He's in a 1v2. This is certainly winnable. As you see the positioning from BBG. Thwaifo playing this patiently. He swings uh, out. And critical shots are just too good. Along the map to try to get a deep flank. Thwaifo's camera there. I love it. Knowing that he has the judge in his back pocket, should be able to work those two pretty well. But man, the nano swarm, he's gonna try to jump up, try to stay alive, and you can't jump for long enough. Bjor gets the opening pick. Yeah, I mean, they really needed him to stay alive, or they really needed BBG to mess up and commit to who could have let the judge come into play, but neither happened. But Pure with the daggers doing big things that short with the hat trick, it gives his team a chance in a two on two. Three filthy kills there, and that certainly equalizes things, but the lockdown might prove to be the difference maker. We did still trying to swing through. He's got the Sheriff trying to buy him some time, see if he can get a pick early on, but he's, he's running out of time here. He might get caught up if he's not careful. Yeah, okay. Seconds left. Makes it out just in the nick of time. Bjork gets the spike down, but unless they check that tight corner, I don't know that they know that we did is here. The turret will know, though. All right, yeah, that he has that. been spotted. He's going to try to clear that thing out. Now his teammate has shown up. BCJ is there. He did still trying to jump peek. He can get any information on where they are. But BBG just playing this so patiently. Critical did spot one. You're pushing through. Through the smoke gets three and gets the fourth on the round. BBG continue to push it. Followed up. You hear the ult has been used by the Omen to try to get back onto the site. But he did get cleared out. Pure once again with the utility. If it's not the turret, it's the nano storm, But it doesn't matter. BBG oh my! Goes hunting. He gets the second one, but Pure trades it out. Aaron is able to take care of him as things drop down to a 3v2. The spike is down in Hookah. This this whole round has just gone sideways. Left. Dude, Last tip your hat standing. to BCJ. A great use of the drone through the portal to confirm it wasn't going to be a heavy. He doesn't connect onto anything. They've got plenty of information on the side of Exit on where some of the pressure's coming from. Critical's gonna drop the ult continuing from BCJ here as he takes care of Bjor, <gasps> looking for more, One doesn't get it, enemy. but we did, we did with Anchor gets two, not able to get the third. BBG is just down to Will and he gets ripped down will come out as well. I think that was a blade storm that got popped from Rob Wiz. Mm -hmm. Looks like they are going to come pouncing in wow. here. He's using the Hunter Fury now. Then that's going to create some room for Rob Wiz to get in with the blade storm that you talked about, but that's no longer a factor if they need to retake the site back. Xset, down a member, still defending strong, and BBG, given all of the room that they've gotten, haven't fully committed onto the site yet because they don't know that they can. They do establish some elbow control. Yep. Like the wife over here really could be devastating depending on when BBG go. They're starting to creep their way forward. Wifo's not able to get one. Xset has fallen apart. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to map three.
Indeed, we, as we are going to see a big setup for BBG here to put the pressure on A. They do have their Killjoy behind B Lava. We can see the push is coming in there. Satchel through, but Aaron's ready for it with the classic. Critical at least able to trade and get control of the site, but we're going to have a four on four retake now coming into play. We talk about that being the discipline box, right? Like, yeah, you have to check that. How many times have we seen in a tense situation like that people not check that planner box and get punished for it? That's exactly what happened. The spike does go down for BBG, however, so they've got a, a chance at doing something here with Lifo swinging around, able to control middle, or excuse me, the elbow we did gets in on it as well, and it looks like they're going to try to stick the fuse. Robles has to get in there. Lifo's holding it out. He's just going to ride it out. We did get to 3k. Titus of X set. They took the lobby control, so they have info there. Their Viper over on We did been able to like really challenge middle nicely, but now he gets pushed in by Bjor, and that turns the tides. A four on four. They're going to rush up ropes, but Aaron is laying in wait with the Spectre in the doorway. Only good for one, but BCJ able to pitch in and keep his team out in front. BBG still managing to be able to get onto the site. They've got the spike in the hands of Will, and X set is going to be the one on the back foot. Bjor. Bjorg can be huge here, depending on where they go. You see two members have already gone into elbow. Or excuse me, into heaven. Bjorg gets one. That's a big one. Wifel sitting out, and then he's going to have to back up. Pure catches him on the tail as he tries to get out. Will drops as well. I love it. Will have the blade storm as well. Bjorg goes in, doesn't use it, but the flash was there. Well played out of Will to deny some of that aggression and trade the kill. They both lose one. That re that's like some Vision Strikers vibes right there, boy. Yeah. That was uh, that was aggressive. I'm sure they wanted a little bit better of an exchange out of it, but hey, a four on four, they'll take it. Showstopper comes to play. It actually misses the mark, but he gets the rifle frag nonetheless. Last they also are starting standing. to get some beat heaven control as well, and so X set find themselves far behind now. And that's gonna do it. BBG do take their first round. It was a dicey one, but they get the G retake from Fresh. being successful, yeah. Aggression, aggression from X head to B. They've managed to take all that, but X head's doing the same thing on the opposite side. There is no strong and weak here as they're just showing aggression on both sides and they get a pick early on. Yeah, it's just kind of like puffing up your chest, but you don't really have much of a punch behind it, obviously. Not much <laughs> firepower, but maybe you can do enough to scare and threaten your opponent and force them backwards, but no BBG. They're just slithering onto this B site. Not much resistance in their way. Big kills coming out, but Pure still got some daggers. That's a He's also very healthy. That's a big Player one. Looks standing. for the second. He gets it, but then he gets shot in the back by Will. Pure sitting out for the rest of the round, but the damage was done. It drops things down to a 1v2. BCJ, he's a little weak. He's got some utility. Holy Toledo, that hurts. That certainly puts a wrinkle in the plans, but this is still doable. It's, it's definitely not out of the realms of possible. He's going to peek around with Will a little bit as he dives around, dips around the pillar. Swimming around, running out of time once from Viper. Mm. Some of the utility that, I mean, a heavy investment on time, on learning oh, the agent and finding the max, the best way to play him on the site, or play her on the site, excuse me. There we see some wow. of that come out. BCJ yet again, anchoring A. He's already gotten two. Cover going out. And he has, and he basically slowed down any type of ropes attack that BBG were trying to do off the back of that. Now they're starting to come up, but again, he slowed them down for a long time. Bjorg takes a turret down off the rafters, at least trying to threaten that B Heaven might be a route of attack here for BBG, but they're still so far behind in numbers. They're pushing the Viper off at B Heaven a bit, but actually, no, he pushes past it. And that's a big kill. We did. He did not able to get the second to get traded out. BBG should have control of heaven as they get a couple of picks as well. Exit down to three members left. Aaron from the bottom. Able to get a big pick onto Bjork. Full waiting for the flank. Comes right into his warm, welcoming arms. But BCJ on the flank. Full has three on the round. So does BCJ, and he gets the last laugh. Out of feast or famine from both of these squads as they win rounds in bunchers. Now it's on BBG to see if they can hold serve. It certainly doesn't look that way. They flash, they dash their way in, and Rob Wiz drops first. Weeded does in exchange, but the spike, in, the spike is working its way into garage. Pure is just going to be there to anchor things down. Foe, nice shots out of the standing. ghost, but he's going to drop. Aaron gets three. Wifo gets the last. Big. Yep, keep a close eye on the ultimates. You've got dueling lockdowns again. You've got a. Rolling Thunder, create some space for BBG, and there it is. There's the Rolling Thunder, there's the first uh, lockdown that's going to be used. BCJ, unfortunate oh, no. circumstances as he gets taken out. BBG managed to have taken control run. of the site as exits just down to two. The dueling lockdown comes out, 
as this entire half of the map really is taken out. Will gets locked down, but it looks like it may be a bait, but Robles can't see anything. Bo trying to keep an eye on things. b still sitting remaining. comfortably as far as numbers go. It's just down to we did. 70 health. Manages to get one. Oh, but he's going to get challenged. They know where he is. This is such a brutal spot to be in. He does have the Viper's Pit, but how much cover can that really buy you here? Trying to hold things down in heaven. Going to put up a wall to try to create some space. To try to get some room. Uh, he's going to get Shirin has been there, making sure that nobody pushes in. They're going to get in through ropes. Yours going to get a chance. Oh, no! Your didn't look. Your gets him. The problem is, for exit, they have 12 Three. seconds. They've got to get on the site. They've got to do it now. They've managed to establish control. BBG is on the back foot. They don't have the numbers to work with. BCJ is going to get the spike down. Now, the question is, what can BBG do to take it back? Will and Poe. Will drops first. BCJ was there. Foe keeping things interesting as he gets one. Has a decent idea of where a player from Xset is. But he's been tagged up. There's a little bit of utility. Gets tagged up through the smoke. Exit after. Aaron's going to be the first one to get a shot on him. The Spectre from that distance gets the best of him. But Will shows that the Stinger might be the better gun in that instance. He does get tagged up, however. Down to 22 health. Wipeout has managed to get his way onto the site. BCJ with nice snaps. Able to get one. As Will drops, he's going to teleport his way around and get back onto the site. Forcing BCJ to push the matter onto them. They're going to check the planer box. Nobody's home. But now it's on them. Get onto the site. BCJ just down to one health and a dream, but manages standing. to get the kill anyway. He's going to drop at the hands of Bo and Pure. Holds fast in that 1v1. X set. Get to 10. Will X set continue to commit? Will they go all the way in here? Pure has made his way all the way in. The lockdown comes out and doesn't capture onto anyone. As Critical gets the opening pick. There's the smoke we were talking about earlier. Spike is still slowly working its way in critical swings, and he gets, that's like a nightmare to wake up to as he sees a couple of players staring him down. He gets taken out. It's down to a 3v3. Rob Wiz, we talked about him a couple of times here. He's got the blade, oh. he's going to dash in and instantly get CC, but manages to stay remaining. alive. It's just down to one. On the side of Xset, Aaron is able to get one, but will trade. See what Pure can do with the Blade Storm. You mentioned they're wanting to take some of that mid control. Be very careful for the Rays on the flank. Will's just on the other side of the smoke, but they're going to challenge him. The Blades prove to be better than the Vandal in that case as they make their way through Mail into Heaven. A little bit of CC still being traded out. Keep in mind that Rolling Thunder is available. Who knows if it'll be really necessary at this point as BBG mm. still has the numbers advantage. If they could win this round without having to use a lockdown or the Rolling Thunder, it's going to set them up so nicely to make this comeback effort a real reality. And it looks like they're not going to need it, man. They're just fragging out right now. Pure, though, with the dagger, continues to try to pave the way. And now we did gets the kill. And now they get a free A site. And the lockdown is no longer in play. The Rolling Thunder is not going to be able to get into position. And Pure has an op now in spawn, still holding them off. Welcome and they're going to be able to back off and get this plant now. And they're going to use the Viper's Pit to ensure that there's no one there. Pure is still trying to hold them back. But slowly, inch by inch, BBG get closer and closer. Xset have made their way onto the site. They've managed to get the spike down, and they're now both huddled in the Viper's Pit. There's the Rolling Thunder Critical. is going to have to go in conjunction with that. He gets up top, tries to get behind them. Oh, but there's a player right player behind standing. him. We did get one. one. He gets traded remaining. out. We did. Still playing around his smoke. His foe is so weak. They rotate around each other. The clock continues to tick away. We did can just play this very patiently. He doesn't have to bust a move here. He can wait this out, and that's exactly what he's doing. I love how he's playing this. Foe has no choice but to commit to something, and it looks like he's just going to run. If XX can put the finishing touches on the Mona Lisa, that's become this tournament for them and put them away. There was one of the big guns from BBG, and that's dropped. Shapiro goes in aggressive. He did get tagged up, but they just take so much real estate. Away from BBG, we'll see if the Blade Storms can prove to be the difference maker. Go, Rob Wiz gets one. Ooh. They know Critical's in B lobby, and they're going to be able to pinch him now. That's really going to cut off that anchor point for BBG. He's trying to work this retake out. Will able to get B Heaven back and upgrade to a Phantom, but still a tough three-on-three -three retake. Oh, and Rob Wiz has already been found out here outside B lobby, and they haven't even committed a spike plant yet. They haven't, and they, I mean, they have all the room. Aaron also has the lockdown as well. Yep. You it's a 3v3. Run. This is doable if you're BBG. But there's a lockdown that we were talking about. It has been used to buy some time, create some space. I love this. We did. They still haven't gotten the spike down. No, but that's fine. And they have a turret now blocking the B lobby flank. So now they can focus their attention more towards spawn in heaven until the turret gets tripped. If it ever gets tripped, which it will not be as we can see. BBG looks like they've managed to upgrade a couple of weapons. Aaron and BCJ get one. It's just down to Bjorn. 
in a 1v2. He does have a Vandal, has no utility to speak of. And the spike has been planted. This is a brutal situation for BBG's Lilgoy. Spots one, not able to land the shots. Attackers Ladies and gentlemen, win. the Kings have been crowned.